Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. Now that we've had a little bit of trouble getting things done, let's actually get this shrine done, and then probably go a few other places. Also, this is already just this is a a blessing, so that makes this shrine easy enough. Get a free diamond. Then let's work out what else we need to do. Okay, well with that done, I think we're going to stick around here a little bit more. Uh, I could go back for that cork as well, possibly. Although it's a little bit of a ways to walk to some of these places. But I need to do it anyway, so might as well get started. And here is as good a place as anywhere else, so. Uh, and I think I'll leave this shrine for now. I'll probably get it in the near future. Since there aren't a ton of shrines left in the world to get. Um, but let's just get started on this now. And hang on, just give me a second to look at the map. Okay, I need to mark off the shrine that I just did. Apparently I forgot to mark that, but now it is marked. So I shouldn't uh, mismark that anymore. Okay, can I climb up this by running? Yep, so I can regain a little bit of stamina. So I can jump more. <laughs> Basically, that's the only reason to regain more stamina. It's not so I can make it to the top, it's just so I can go to the top faster. Okay, which ones do I need to go to? Green first, probably. Is green the shrine? I think green is the shrine. I hope it's a shrine. I wasn't entirely sure if it was actually a shrine, so... There's only one way to find out, and that's to go all the way there. So let's do that. Just thinking back to the beginning of the game, the Great Plateau is very... I don't even know what word to use. It's small enough to make it feel like small, but it still feels like there's a lot to do there at the same time. It's probably my favorite part of the game. Maybe? I don't know if I want to go with that, but it's definitely one of the more interesting parts, I would say. Uh, what's with all this here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's, there's a... Okay, um, hang on. I'm gonna stand back. Well, that was fun. Anyway, let's grab this rupee. Oh, that was... Lots of things just happened here. Frozen bass. Roasted tree nut. There was a lot of things here, apparently. But, oh my goodness, that was cool there. Just exploding everything. 100 rupees easily from 250 rupees oh hey is that what I think it is maybe hang on let me go look at that thing over there it might not be what I, th I thought it was but it could be something good still maybe okay it's not exactly what I thought it was oh but it is actually useful because it it's a updraft which means I can get around from up here look around down there um anyway let's go to the green which is I believe down down from here so hopefully there's nothing across there there might be I could check and then go down to that um that thing down there and I do think it is actually a shrine hang on there's a shrine in this direction. Unless it's thinking about that ice block and that... Yeah. Let me just go up here, though. I think I can jump most of the way. 
if not all. There we go. So that's definitely a shrine down there. Let me see what this is, though. Oh, hello, Lionel. Good to see you. How's the family? You've got quite a big one, I can guess. Okay, so there's only a updraft up here. So let's head over to the shrine. Because I don't think there's much up there other than the Lionel. I guess there might be... I should probably fight another Lionel, but I probably want to change my gear. Actually, I might not be able to change my gear. It's just too cold. Um, don't have any meals that reduce heat, do they? Or what's the thing? Yeah, I don't know. Um, and I don't think I can make anything quickly. Because my armor's not going to be good enough, I don't think. Although, if I mix it well enough, 38 defense, it's not great. And I do need two levels of defense. Is there anything better than that? Better than 18? Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, I think I have to go with this. Just because I have to keep the, what's it called? Um, leggings. Okay, let's see. Attacker plus 9. Quick shot. Attack plus 11. Well, I guess the the actual number down the bottom is actually the damage. So let's go a little bit all out and try to take out this... Oh, this Lionel. Oh my goodness, it's not making this easy. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get up, please, Link. Might be at a quick time better than trying to attack it. Okay, just do that. A whole bunch. Oh my goodness. Daruk's protection. Nice. Shot in the face. Let's get nice and close, and mount, mount, mount! Okay then, game. Oh, back up. Okay, let's try mounting again. Now do some damage. Okay, that was good. Shoot him in the face. Okay, that didn't help at all. Ow, I lost all my Daruk's protection, that's fine. Let's try mounting again. Royal Broadsword is badly damaged. Oh, he's doing a blast thing. Get back. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. Okay, um... Let's change arrows. And let's... Ch uh, let's heal, probably. I think I have to use a... Full heal. Or I could use Energizing. Um, I'll do energizing just so I keep my other stuff for a little bit longer. Even though I could even make more full recovery stuffs. I kind of want to just do this for now. Let's go with a strong weapon. Oh, back up. Somehow not dying. Shoot him in the face. There we go. Oh, I missed. Oh, but I didn't. Oh my gosh. This is a strong one, too. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure this is a... Uh... Actually, I don't know. Hang on. What type of thing are you? A white maned. Okay, so you are fairly strong, but I think it's more elemental than anything else. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to use a full heal. That's fine. I can make more, is the thing. Okay, let me actually also do Urbosa's Fury. Because that's going to take him out. There we go. Very nice. Um, I'm going to drop this Blizzard Rod because I don't need that at all. But that was a good fight. I enjoyed that. Take that Savage Lionel bow. Let's take a picture of this Savage Lionel Crusher. 
This Lionel made two-handed weapon is immensely heavy thanks to a rare metal from Death Mountain's Peak. The power of its downward swing is in a class of its own. 78 attack by itself. That's a lot of attack. That's a lot of damage. I like that meme. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. It's an old meme though, by this point. Oh, there's the thing up here. That's definitely a Korok. I'm gonna get this and then go to that shrine. Oh, I got noticed apparently. That's fine. Let's take care of this ice. Yeah, you do that, and I'll do my own thing. Probably with a different bow. Oh, that's got a lot of range, I guess. I missed. Oh, the other one's right here. <laughs> Get a close-up of his face to shoot him in it. There we go, he's gone. Probably want to take out the other one as well. There we go. How's this going over here? Fairly well. Um, let me... Does it go faster if I drop all of these? Just a little bit, okay. Oh, actually, this might be a treasure chest. Or maybe it is a Korok. It might actually be a Korok for once. For the first time since the Great Plateau, it might actually be a Korok. Oh my goodness, it is. Wow. It's been, it's been a while since we've seen one of these. It's only been like a billion years since we were at the Great Plateau. We didn't get it as soon as we were we were started on the Great Plateau, but we did get it fairly early on. Anyway, let's grab those and let's head down to this ice block. It's a big ice block. Do your thing. I'm gonna do my thing. Looks like this is some good stuff over here. I think it's just Luminous Stone, though. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I can see the back of the shrine. Gotta take a little bit to melt all this. Actually, I wonder if I can do something interesting here. Hang on. Can I climb this? I don't think I can climb this. I can use Revali's Gale, which is almost run out anyway, just like every other power I have. Let me... Go up here and see if I can do what I'm trying to do. So, can I um, set a fire on top of the ice block? Because that would be funny if I can. I'm gonna have to do this in a very specific way. I think I just dropped. I did. Cool. Why did that do it like that? I don't think I was trying to drop my thing. Equip. Um, and I need to. Get the wood to stay up here as well, which could be difficult-ish. Go, 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 go! Oh, nope, there it goes. <laughs> there goes the fire. That's actually impressive that the fire fell down. Where'd it go? Where did the fire go? Did it break? It must have broke. That's a shame. Anyway, let me let me start another one just so I can have it go by a little bit faster than this. Ah, uh, there it is. Go! That's a sizable difference. But it will take its time to melt down this entire thing. I want it to go faster. Oh, I can't hold that. What do you mean? I'm trying to hold multiple things right now. Come on. Come on, I know you can do it. Fall into the fire. Or not, I guess. That works too. Created an updraft. Okay, we can see the top of the shrine now. This is actually a good angle to watch this melt at because you can actually see the whole 
thing in terms of width, I guess. As long as it's steaming and sweating, it's melting quickly. I don't know how long this is actually going to take because I think it might just break open after a certain size. So I don't think it's going to shrink all the way. Also, is the camera moving down slowly? Probably. I would assume so. There we go. Yeah, it does break off after a while. Cool, let's grab our flame blades before they disappear forever. And make sure I actually did. Did I lose one? I must have accidentally broken it, maybe? Well, it's gone now. <laughs> so, um... Oh, and, uh... My brilliant plan didn't exactly work out the way I thought it would. Well, that kind of works. Yeah, there's no... No more. I guess I lost my, well, my flame blades, but that's okay because I have more flame blades. But I have inventory space for the first time in forever. Also, I just realized something. Melting ice hazard. Uh, other than that, um, let's get rid of uh, flame blade for now. Offer before me a block of ice. Only then will the path forward open. I just realized if I get another shrine after this one in this episode, I'll have the same amount of episodes as shrines completed. Which I guess would have had more shrines completed in less episodes if I had continued or had started doing 30 minute episodes during the first part half of the series. Oh dear. This bit's... So basically with this shrine is get the ice block through and um, don't let it melt, basically. Oh, that just went straight through the fire. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Okay. I don't know how big this ice block needs to be, but it needs to be fairly sizable when we reach the end. So let's keep going. And now we need to get this block to move. Oh my goodness. And let's put that in the way of these. This fire, please. Like that. And now we should probably not carry this through. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's grab this. And I definitely have to go around now. Frostblade. How many... Okay, that's the, all the treasure chests. But now I want to probably put that back up there. Blocking the fire as well. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Please do what I'm trying to get you to do. Okay, there we go. Stay there. And I think I'm just going to... Put this directly in a fire so I get a new ice block because I don't want to... I don't want to... I guess I could try. There's no harm in trying to get the ice block through even if it's melted a little. And you have to restart. Anyway, we have to... Try and avoid this ice as much as possible. Avoid the fire. Go, 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 go. Okay, this bit's annoying because we have to actually get to slide though. Actually, I wonder if I can actually just push it with my feet. No, I cannot. Okay. That answers that question. Okay. I think we're s it's still... Oh, fairly sizable. I realized a problem. I realized a mistake. I need the block over here. Can I reach it from here? I don't think I can reach it from here. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna jump in the fire. The lava thing. 
Oh, that's fine. Let's pull this back over here then. Oh my goodness, don't get stuck on the wall. Okay, just gonna put that in there. Need to put it a little bit further forward so it's a little bit in between so I can get across. Okay, ice block, let's go. Okay, put you down there. Need to move to the block again. I'm glad I already got all of the treasure chests taken care of. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Let's go through here. Not throwing it this time. I'm just going to walk through and hopefully not have it melt. Oh boy. This looks like fun over here. Oh, a lot of fun. Okay. Let's grab this block again. Because we need to block the flame, but we need to block it in a very special way. Because we need it to stay up in the air. Ah, oh, that didn't work at all. Cool. Uh, actually, I don't think that's what we're supposed to do. Let me just... I don't, yeah, I don't think that's what we're supposed to do, actually. Otherwise... Yeah, we'd have much better options than that. So what I think we're supposed to do is actually just throw that through. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake in doing that. And then I think, if I can, I'd like to hold this into place and walk through it without all that. Okay. Block of ice. Carry it up here. It's definitely smaller now because of going through the fire, but we managed to get it here, so it should be big enough. For us to get through. Definitely got all the shri shrine chests. Yep, good. Cool, let's get rid of that. You won't need this ice where you're going. Okay. So, we have those two Korok locations, probably, but I'm going to just leave those for now. Uh, because I want to go probably to the shrine if I can. This other one. Just because I want it. I don't know how quickly I can get there, though. Okay, it's in an interesting place. It's near the, the horse statue thing that we saw ages ago. With the memory. Oh, and that's a Korok up there. Just gonna mark that for now. Just because I'm busy. Okay, there it is. We should be on course, I suppose. Also, my track is way off in everything right now. Actually, that might be for... Okay, maybe, no, maybe I'm not wrong. Maybe? Maybe? maybe I don't know. Some of the... My, I'm not sure. My, I need to test my tracker's accuracy with everything because I, I don't think it has all the central no yeah the central Hyrule's one's out the Akala region's out and I don't know how to check at the moment I'll fix it at some point problem with making a Breath of the Wild tracker is to test it, it means you have to do the entirety of Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild is a long game. Also, this is a Korok. Let's keep that there for later, I suppose. Let's keep heading up the mountain. Oh, another one as well. 
so many Koroks. Wait, are these two Koroks in the same place? Or is this just the one? Also, I think I put the spots. Oh, these are connected. Interesting. Very interesting. So I need to actually make sure I get this in properly. Two Korok seeds very close together. Actually, there might be even a third one because that stump over there is covered in thorns. Although it just might be the weapon on top of it that it's trying to hide. Some silent princesses here, which is cool. Since that's the flower of the game. Okay, let's head on up this way. Oh, what was that? I think that was a boulder passing my head. <laughs> yep. Cool. I think there are a few more that are going to do that. I'm going to grab this rush room. <laughs> Which I don't think I've even used any rush room yet because I still want to make sure I clear that side quest. Which I probably have enough rush room for. How much rush room do I have? 48, that's pretty good. Although, considering we've been collecting that since the beginning of the game and haven't used any, it's kind of not a lot if you think about it. Silver Rupee. I think we're getting very close to the top now. Or at least where the shrine is. Definitely. There it is. Cool. Also, I believe Bloopies are nearby. Not just on this side of the mountain, but also on the other side. Also, this is a Korok right here, I can tell. <laughs> We've seen one of them before. Maybe two. Anyway. It's strange. Just after entering this region, I found several Koroks instantly. They must be just plentiful in this area. Let's have a look at this shrine. Synced swim swing. I can ha ah, ah. <laughs> this is a good start. Synced swing. So um Oh that's even slowing down, that's not good. Oh, but I increased its thing by stepping onto it. Good. Great, I think I should just try to time my jumps a little bit better. Like that. Oh, This is cool though. Um, do I actually have to shoot that? I guess I do. Unless there's something else I can do. Also, I just want to quickly... Oh, I can't. That's a shame. Okay, let's... Uh, shoot this down. I don't think I have many regular arrows. I have one. This is the time when a boomerang would be useful. Maybe. If you use it correctly. But yeah, I was, wa I was wanting to hit these into each other. Oh my goodness. Hang on, let me... Pull, and then... Release. Ah, oh, that's not as satisfying as, as I was hoping. Having them bump into each other all the time. Forest Dwellers, Dwellers Spear. I'm pretty sure we've seen one of those before. Let me just double check. Also, have I taken a picture of this Dragonbone Club? Probably. Oh, and the Lionel... No, I took a picture of that already. I definitely took a picture of that already. So let me throw that off precariously over the edge. And that... Yep, cool. Easy. So let's figure this out now. Which we can do like that. Have it swing across. So we can get across while it's swinging. Oh, be careful though. Be very careful. Okay. That, and then go across. And this one as well. Actually, this one's a probably a little bit harder to manage, but I'll try. Use the advantage of being able to move the camera while in a text thing. Oh my goodness, Forest Dweller's Bow. 
shoots five arrows. They're not very strong, but that's a interesting thing. Forest Dweller's Bow. The Koroks made this bow for Hylians. It's crafted from flexible wood and uses sturdy vines for the bowstring. Its construction may be simple, but it fires multiple arrows at once. Inventory's full. Cool. Great. Wonderful. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Thing flying past my head. Let me drop that since that's about to break. There it goes again. That's that's a that's a thing and a half. Um, let me just quickly drop the forest dwellers bow to see if I've taken a picture of that. I have. Cool. I probably even read it out before, but it's just been such a long time that I don't remember. I'm guessing this is gonna slide down, or maybe it won't. You know, maybe it won't. Oh, maybe it will if I do that. I mean, that's cool, but anyway. Let's move this down here. Also, we need to get that treasure chest there. Put that over there, and then... Bring this closer. And then go down. Get the treasure. Gold rupee. Okay. That is all of the... Uh, what's it called? All of the chests in this shrine. Now let's bring this over here. And then maybe, just maybe... Probably not. Actually, no, I can pull this forward. Cool. That makes that super easy. Let me hit that as well. Um... I know I could... Oh, I, I have to use an arrow either way. So why not just do that? And let it burn its way up. Okay. Yank, please. Or oh, push. Push, push. Push, okay. Let's get up there. Through the hole, quick. <laughs> it's not closing, it's just... Momentum and because I pushed it too far for, for, forward. Anyway, 100 shrines. Pretty good. And we can get another heart container. So I might do that real quick once we get out of this screen. Oh my goodness. Oh. 100 shrines, 142 Korok seeds. I'm gonna go get a, another piece of a heart container from the best place to get a heart container. Okay. I'm probably actually more ready than I realize to actually beat the game now. I mean, I've got some pretty good armor. Uh, my my best armor is really good at the moment, so I could probably go to Hyrule Castle at some point soon. There is more stuff to do, but I could do it soon. So there we go, another heart container, and that is it for now, so... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.